Welcome to Live Interactive English. Hello, I'm Matt. And I'm Karen. Today we are looking at part two of our story called Beowulf. Now we know that Beowulf is a hero from a long, long time ago, right?、Mm -hmm. And he is very strong, and he's not afraid of anything because he's super brave, right? Yeah, that's right. So he was serving a Danish king,、mm -hmm. and you know they they had many parties in the、that's、king's、right. court. And this monster Grendel, who lived in the swamp, didn't like that, so he came and started hurting people, killing the, people, killing people. <laughs> and Beowulf didn't like that, so he got in a fight with Grendel and ripped his arm off, which caused Grendel to die,、mm -hmm. which of course made his mother very angry.、Mm -hmm. So she came and started killing people. And then Beowulf had to go to her house in the swamp, and kill her. That's right,、mm. with a sword.、Mm. So basically, I think no one can really beat Beowulf. He can defeat anybody, right? It seems like he's very strong. If he can beat two monsters already, exactly.、Mm. I don't know, but. I think Grendel was really, really upset with the people because they were having a party and because they were being too noisy, right?、Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. When you have noisy neighbors and you just want them to be quiet, maybe Grendel just got a little bit upset. Not just a little <laughs>、yeah. bit. He started killing people, right? Right. I don't think he had to do that. He could just come over, knocked on the door, and said, "Guys, can you keep it down?" I guess he could have done that, but if he did that, then there wouldn't be a story, and we wouldn't be able to learn about Beowulf, right? Well, but、It's、it would have been all the you excitement. Know, you could have called the police, maybe, had them to come over and be like, "Shh." No, nope, Matt.、Right. That's what makes the story exciting. Oh well, I guess he wouldn't be a monster if he had done that. Exactly. <laughs>、so. Okay. Well, how about let's check out part two of our story, Beowulf, and find out what happens next. Maybe he's going to fight more monsters or kill more monsters. I guess we'll have to find out when we get into part two. All right. After Beowulf's heroic deeds, he was known far and wide. He returned home and eventually became king of the Geats. He ruled his kingdom peacefully for fifty years until one day a man stole treasure from a dragon. The dragon was very angry and tried to destroy the kingdom with its fiery breath. So Beowulf went to confront it with some of his men. All of them ran away out of fear, aside from one, Wiglaf, who stayed behind to fight beside his king. Everyone, today we're looking at part two of our story, Beowulf. Mm-hmm. I think Beowulf will be killing more monsters in part two. Well, I hope so. We get some action-packed part two, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, let's get started. After Beowulf's heroic deeds, that means all the heroic things that he did, all the things that makes him a hero, he was known far and wide. Which means that he was known maybe in the whole wide world. Everybody who was either far or really close to him, everybody heard of Beowulf. He returned home and eventually became king of the Geats. Ah. Right. So he was serving the Danish king before, but now he's returned to where he is from,、mm -hmm. and became king of the Geats.、So、he's become a king in his own place, in his homeland, where he's from. Exactly. And he did that eventually.、Mm -hmm. So eventually is an adverb meaning in the end, usually after a series of difficulties or things that were hard to overcome. So he didn't easily get to this endpoint, but you can eventually. Do something. Eventually, he became king.、Mm -hmm. Or, for example, he studied hard every day and eventually passed his math test.、Ah. So it wasn't something easy for him to do.、Mm -hmm. He had to study every day. That's true.、Mm -hmm. Continuing on, he ruled his kingdom peacefully for fifty years、mm -hmm. until one day a man stole treasure from a dragon. <gasps> 
So it's another monster. We got、mm. a dragon now. That's right. The dragon was very angry and tried to destroy the kingdom with its fiery breath.、Mm. So Beowulf went to confront it with some of his men. Okay, so Beowulf is not just going to sit back and then just to watch all of this happen, right? He's going to save his kingdom, right? And we're looking at fiery breath. It just means breathing out flames or hot gases, often associated with mythical creatures like dragons, which we have in our story today, right? Go, and the people will get really, really scared. Yeah, so like they can, we say they can breathe fire. They have fiery breath. They just can blow fire out of their mouths,、mm -hmm. and that's something that they can use to destroy. A castle or a kingdom, as this dragon is trying to do. That's right, or kill many, many innocent people. Okay, so all of them ran away out of fear, aside from one, Wiglaf, who stayed behind to fight beside his king. Oh, so there's one guy who didn't run away,、mm -hmm. and then he stayed behind to fight beside his king, which is Beowulf, right? Okay, so maybe another hero, or maybe like a sidekick, like Batman and Robin.、Mm -hmm. you know, two of them. Wow, he's being very loyal, right?、Mm -hmm. he really, he didn't run away. Just he only he didn't just care about his own life. He wanted to fight with his king. Right, so it's just him and Beowulf now、mm -hmm. against this dragon. And while everyone else ran away, Beowulf is already known for his bravery. Everyone knows that Beowulf is very brave and will stand and fight. But only one other person decided not to run away and had maybe the confidence, had the belief that they can actually win this. That's true. And I think two people, of course, would be better than just one, right? That's right. I think any kind of help you can get in this kind of situation. Is going to help out. I don't think I'd want to fight a dragon by myself either.、Mm, but this guy is also very, very brave.、Mm -hmm. Okay, how about let's take a quick break and we'll come back and see what happens next. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。我们今天要继续来读 Beowulf， 贝武夫。那么 Matt 老师说，希望接下来的故事会是。Action packed. 那么 action packed 就是形容说是充满刺激动作场面的。好，那我们的故事就写到说，在贝武夫的英勇事迹之后，他就变得远近驰名。那他回到家乡，最后成为吉特人的国王。贝武夫和平统治了他的王国五十年。那直到有一天，有一名男子从一条龙那边偷走了宝藏。这条龙非常愤怒，试图用他的火焰气息来摧毁王国。于是呢，贝武夫就。带着几名手下去对抗他，不过呢，就除了 Wiglaf 威格拉夫这个人之外，所有的人都因为恐惧而逃跑，那就只有他一个人留下来来跟国王并肩作战。好，单字 eventually。它是副词，表示最后啊，结果怎么样？怎么样？最终怎么样？好，那么另外 ，fiery 它是形容熊熊燃烧的，或是含火的，火一般的。我们课文用到 fiery breath， 就是火焰吐息，会喷火这样子。Karen 老师提到说，会喷火的往往会是神话当中的生物。那老师用到 mythical。M Y T H I C A L, mythical. 它是形容神话的、虚构的。这边两个重点，我们进入文法时间。好，我们来看第一个重点是 until， 它是指直到什么什么时候，在什么什么之前。后面可以接子句，那这时候 until 是当连接词用，那也可以接时间点，这时候是当介系词用。那就用来表达说动作它持续到某个时刻才停止。我们看两个例句。Rita stayed up until she finished the book. Rita 熬夜直到她把那本书看完。Rita stayed up until 3 a.m. Rita 熬夜到凌晨三点钟。那这时候我们注意到 until 就是当介系词用喽。好，第二重点是 aside from， 它是片语介系词，后面可以接名词或动名词。那以下介绍两种不同的意思。第一个是用来表达除了什么什么之外就没有什么什么。那这时候意思相当于 except for， 用来表达不包括后面的人事物。例如。I enjoyed all the dishes aside from the salad. 除了那一道沙拉之外，所有的菜肴我都喜欢
。那第二种是表达除了什么什么之外，还有什么什么。那这时候相当于 besides 或者是 in addition to， 用来表达包括后面的人事物在内。举例来说 ，aside from hiking。He also likes swimming. 除了健行之外，他还喜欢游泳。接华课文中。Beowulf was no longer a young man, so the fight was long and difficult. In the end, Beowulf managed to kill the dragon, but he was bitten in the neck during the battle. The dragon's bite was poisonous, and Beowulf's wounds would never heal. He knew he was dying, so he named Wiglaf the next king as a reward for his loyalty. After Beowulf died, his body was burned on a huge fire and then buried near the sea. His people grieved for him and feared for the future of the kingdom now that he was no longer there to protect them. However, they would continue to speak of his courage for many years to come. Welcome back. So before the break, we have returned to seeing Beowulf, and he is now a king,、mm -hmm. and he's been king for fifty years already. That's right. And then after these fifty years of peace, someone stole something from a dragon, and that caused the dragon to become angry, and it had its fiery breath. It was trying to destroy the kingdom, and only Beowulf. And one other man named Wiglaf stayed to fight the dragon. That's right, because all of the rest of the people, I think, they were probably scared and they all ran away,、mm -hmm. right? So I wonder if they're going to defeat the dragon now. I don't know. Let's find out. Beowulf was no longer a young man. So the fight was long and difficult because we know that he was king for fifty years、mm -hmm. already, right? That's right. So he must be a yeah you know, quite an old man at this point. Maybe in his sixties or seventies.、Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. So in the end, Beowulf managed to kill the dragon, but he was bitten in the neck during the battle.、Mm -hmm. Oh no! Then is he going to live or is he going to die? Know, he、I、was guess. bitten in the neck. Bitten in the neck. Yeah, to get a bite in the neck, it could be very serious.、Mm -hmm. The dragon's bite was poisonous, and Beowulf's wounds would never heal. Oh no! Okay, so it's a poisonous bite. So not only can the dragon breathe fire, but it also has poison. It has a poisonous bite.、Mm -hmm. If something is Poisonous. It means when taken into the body, it can cause you to become sick or even to die.、Mm -hmm. So in this case, it seems the poison is going to cause this wound to not be able to heal. So it's not going to get better. This bite, this wound from the bite, will always be there. Oh no! So another example for poisonous: those bright red berries are poisonous. And can make you very sick. That's right. So that's why when you go out into the wild, you never eat anything that you don't know, right? Okay. Well, let's go back to the story. He knew he was dying. So we're talking about Beowulf here. Beowulf knew that he was dying, so he named Wiglaf the next king as a reward. For his loyalty. Oh, okay. So he knew he was going to die. They still need a new king, but the only person that stayed with him during the fight was, of course, Wiglaf.、Mm -hmm. And it makes sense to name him the next king, right?、Mm, he showed his bravery and his loyalty, so、mm -hmm. maybe he deserves to be king. That's right. And then that was his reward. So reward that is a noun. A reward is something you get for a job well done. So if you work really really hard for something, or you study really hard on a test, and then your reward might be getting a really good score. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, so our example sentence would be: For cleaning his room, the little boy got a chocolate bar as a reward. Okay,、mm. it's a good reason to clean your room. <laughs> <laughs> But that's his job, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so it was a reward for his loyalty.、Mm -hmm. So loyalty, the quality of being loyal, and loyal means showing support or allegiance. For someone, 
And that means that standing by them, even through difficult times or when it's not easy to, maybe others would not support that person. But if you are a loyal person and you show lots of loyalty, you will still be there to support and help this other person. Mm -hmm. It could be a friend, a loved one. These are the kind of people you show loyalty to. That's right. So, for example, Oliver's loyalty to his friends meant they always trusted him.、Mm -hmm. So he has shown a lot of loyalty to Beowulf by not abandoning him or leaving him alone when the dragon came.、Mm -hmm. After Beowulf died, his body was burned on a huge fire, and then buried near the sea. His people grieved for him and feared for the future of the kingdom. Now that he was no longer there to protect them, well, there's still Wiglaf, right? I mean, Wiglaf is very, very brave as well, and that is why he named him the next king. So maybe Wiglaf will also protect the people.、Mm -hmm. Okay, so grieve. To grieve, that is a verb. That just means to feel deep sorrow or sadness, especially due to a loss. Maybe someone really close to you has passed away. Okay, so however, they would continue to speak of his courage for many years to come, and that they, meaning the people in the kingdom, everybody will still be talking about how brave. Uh, Beowulf was right,、mm -hmm. and then how many people he has saved, and he kept the kingdom really, really nice and peaceful for so many years.、Mm -hmm. Okay. And we have a what do you think question. So, Karen,、mm -hmm. do you think loyalty is important? Why or why not? Well, take a wild guess. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I think loyalty is important, and the reason being, if you show loyalty to your friends and people around you, you build really strong relationship with people, a strong bond, and a lot of people can trust you, and you know you can trust them as well. So you would have reliable friends, and I think overall you will have a better quality of life. You don't have to always think about. Oh, is this friend going to turn his back on me? Is that friend going to backstab me? If you always show loyalty to your friends and family, I think in return they will do the same.、Mm -hmm. I think so, and I, I support you and your answer. I stand by Karen's answer to this question.、Mm -hmm. So loyalty <laughs> is very, very important.、Mm -hmm. All right, so I hope you have learned how to, you know, show your loyalty to your friends and stand by those that are important to you, and maybe you can become king someday too. That is right. <laughs> okay, and that's all for today. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Story 前面有提到贝武夫统治他的王国五十年，所以啊，他就已经不年轻了嘛。那这一场战斗漫长又艰难，最终贝武夫成功杀死那一条龙。可是，在战斗过程中，他被咬伤了颈部。那龙的咬伤是有毒的，贝武夫的伤口永远无法治愈，他自己知道快死了。于是呢，就任命那一位跟他并肩作战的威格拉夫来担任下一任国王，作为他忠诚的奖赏。好，那么贝武夫死后，人民因为他哀悼，那也为王国的未来感到担忧。毕竟贝武夫没办法再保护他们了。不过呢，他的人民在未来的日子里面仍然会持续谈论着他的勇气，还有英雄事迹。好，单字 poisonous， 它就是形容有毒的或是引起中毒的。Reward 在这边当名词表示报酬、奖赏或是回报。Loyalty， 它表示忠诚、忠实，它是不可数名词。你可以在它的后面加上 to， 再加名词。那 Matt 老师在讲解时，他用到 allegiance，a l l e g i a n c e。allegiance 表示忠诚或是拥戴，那可以用来表达对这个统治者啊、国家、群体等等的效忠。好，那么 Karen 老师在谈到这个忠诚的重要性时，他则提到 backstab。B A C K S T A B, backstab 就是背后捅一刀，或者是呢以卑鄙的手段来陷害。老师还有提到这个 turn one's back on， 后面可以接人或事物，字面意思是转身背朝什么什么，那可以引申表达这个背弃呀、啊、放弃呀、啊、拒绝等等的意思。好，这边一个重点，我们进入文法时间。
。这边我们来学习 now that 主词加动词是表达既然怎么样，由于怎么样。连接词 now that 是用来引导表示原因的副词子句，意思相当于 since。那所引导的子句可以摆在句首，也可以摆在主要子句的后面。例如 now that everyone's here, let's start the meeting。既然大家都到了，我们就开始开会吧。好，那以上这些讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。After Beowulf's heroic deeds, he was known far and wide. He returned home and eventually became king of the Geats. He ruled his kingdom peacefully for fifty years until one day, a man stole treasure from a dragon. The dragon was very angry and tried to destroy the kingdom with its fiery breath. So Beowulf went to confront it with some of his men. All of them ran away out of fear, aside from one, Wiglaf, who stayed behind to fight beside his king. Beowulf was no longer a young man, so the fight was long and difficult. In the end, Beowulf managed to kill the dragon, but he was bitten in the neck during the battle. The dragon's bite was poisonous, and Beowulf's wounds would never heal. He knew he was dying, so he named Wiglaf the next king as a reward for his loyalty. After Beowulf died, his body was burned on a huge fire and then buried near the sea. His people grieved for him and feared for the future of the kingdom now that he was no longer there to protect them. However, they would continue to speak of his courage for many years to come. It's Kiwi, Kiwi on the street. street. I'm Kiki and I'm Winnie. Oh, can I borrow、uh, maybe some money because I ran out and I want to go get some drinks. You ran out of what? I ran out of money. You know. You ran out of money. Your money got up and ran away. No, that's a phrase, and it basically means I don't have any money on me right now. Ah, okay. Does that mean we're gonna be working on phrases today? Sure does. All right, let's go check it out. Okay, let's work on some phrases today. Our first phrase in Chinese is 提心吊胆 Look over one's shoulder. Look over one's face. Uh, look over one's shoulder. Look over one's face. Look over one's shoulder. Look over. Look over one's shoulder. Is that correct? Ding ding ding! Yes, you look over your shoulder. Okay. Let's try another one. 痛哭流涕 You're you're crying so much. You cry your heart out. Cry one's heart out. Cry one's heart out. Cry one's head out. Cry one's heart out. This. Okay, go for it. Cry one's heart out. You sure? Yes. You sure? <gasps> and it's a good thing you're sure because you're correct. Very、oh, good. Okay, okay. okay. So what have we learned today? We learned a lot of new phrases today. So let's learn a little bit more about them. The first one is "look over one's shoulder." This phrase means that a person is worried that something bad or unpleasant might happen to them, so they have to stay alert and be wary. Since we can't really see what might come from behind us, we have to look over our shoulder in order to see. Our next phrase is "cry one's heart out." This means to cry for a long time or to cry with a lot of intensity. The heart is traditionally thought of as the center of emotions, so a lot of emotions can be felt physically with the heart. So when you do something with your heart out, for example, sing your heart out, you are usually doing something with a lot of emotion. Okay, that's all the phrases we learned today. Kiwi later.